Hey, what's up YouTube? Your boy Chris out in the Caliente Garage. In this video, I will be performing an oil change on my 2016 Honda Goldwing. I've been in the process of having the Goldwing service. I just got it back from the Honda dealers. I had them to flush the antifreeze and replace that coolant. I've also had them to replace the clutch and the brake fluid on this 2016 Honda Goldwing. So I will be performing the oil change. I normally run in the winter months. I run with a 10W30 and I run a 10W40 in the summer months, the hotter months, because I pull a trailer. So I normally run Amzor synthetic. But in this video, I'm going to be going back with the Honda brand oil. It's a 10W30 since it's the colder months. And also, I will be changing out the rear end oil. I normally would go with the Honda brand oil. But in this video, I'm going to be changing out the rear end oil. I'm going to be going with this Lucas oil. It's a SAE 80 weight 90 gear oil. And it's specialized for high forward gears. And it exceeds the Honda brand oil specification. So I will be changing out the fluids. And also, I'm going to be replacing the front ring of fire i normally have the shiny chrome ring of fire on the go wing i'm gonna be changing them out with some black ring of fire i have these black ring of fires they're gonna be lighted so we're gonna be replacing the chrome ring of fires and i'm gonna be putting on this black ring of fire just to give it a different look on this 2016 honda go wing so stay tuned to this video and we're gonna continue with having the gold wing service. Let's get started. You wanna get the bike up to the proper operating temperature. And you wanna open the, the dipstick. Okay, now that I have the Honda Gold Wing on my motorcycle lift, I've actually put down some paper to prevent oil from getting on the floor. So I have an oil pan. Also to get off the oil filter, I'm going to be using this 3-in-1 smart wrench that I picked up. I will include a link in the description of the video of where you guys can pick up one of these smart wrenches. And also it has the ability to take off the oil drain plug. So this one wrench could take off the filter and the plug or you can just use a oil filter wrench cap or oil filter wrench cup this works really well on certain filters because the three in one is not going to work on all oil filters some oil filters are smooth and this is not going to work on the smooth oil filters it only works on the oil filters that have the grooves like the Honda OEM oil filter. So the first thing is to remove the cover, the cover plate. On my gold wing, I have the belly pan on here. I will be changing out this belly pan with the new belly pan, but this belly pan still works pretty good. I just have two screws to take out and it'll drop the cover over the oil filter. That makes it easier to access. So if you don't have a belly pan on your gold wing, I highly recommend getting a belly pan. So I just have the two Phillips screws that I've taken out and now I can slide out this belly pan cover. So now that I have the belly pan access plate cover removed, I have the Honda Gold Wing warmed up to the normal operating temperature. I'm going to slide this catch pan underneath to catch the oils. Well, here's the oil filter. So I'm going to remove the oil filter and I'm going to remove the drain plug and I have my catch pan underneath. So I'm going to take the bottom end of the three in one to loosen the oil drain screw.
I'm going to use the pan to just catch the oil as it first comes out. All of that nasty oil. And this time of year, in the slow months and the colder months, now is a good time to perform your maintenance because when it warms up in the springtime that's the time to ride one thing about me i don't want to be fixing when it's time to ride i want to be riding so in the colder months i like to get all of the maintenance performed all of the fluids changed all of the tires changed so in the riding months i can spend more time riding and less time fixing Now on the 2016 Honda Goldwing, it's a lot easier to change the oil than on the 21 Honda Goldwing. On the 21 Honda Goldwing, you have those three drain plugs and it just uh, takes a little bit more to get it changed and it's a lot messier. So now I can take the three in one and loosen the oil filter. I'm just going to barely turn it to get some of the, the oil to drop down and just let that drain. And the thing about doing an oil change on your, your motorcycle, this is the life of the motorcycle, the oil. It's the cheapest maintenance that you can actually perform. Every motorcycle owner should know how to change their oil. So while the oil is draining, I can go ahead and prepare the oil filter. This is the Honda brand oil filter. Just gonna pour some oil over in here and lube around the gasket on the top. You don't have to do it, but for my oil changes, I like to just go ahead and get some of the oil put in the filter and use some of the oil to lube around the top of the gasket. I just want to get it started. I'm gonna take some of that oil and just lube the gasket. So now I'm gonna take my new oil filter. Now I can turn it on there. Take my three and one. You don't have to make that oil filter real tight. You can just hand tighten it and once you feel it get tight, about a half a turn or a quarter of a turn should suffice.
And also, now would be a good time to change out that crush washer. It's recommended to change out the crush washer after every oil change. But you can probably get away with reusing the crush washer. But I'm just going to put a new crush washer. Go ahead and put it in. Take my three and one. That's the thing I like about this three and one is that it has the exact bolt size on the bottom of the wrench. So now I can just wipe up any excess oil. And now it's time to fill the oil. The Honda Goldwing holds 3.9 quarts of oil, but I'm just gonna top it on off with the one gallon quart of the Honda brand oil. In the hotter months, I sometimes would run the Amsoil 10W40 and in the colder months I'll run the Amsoil 10W30 but in this video I'm gonna just be going back with the Honda brand conventional oil the 10W30 I generally do an oil change maybe three times a year it calls for every 8,000 miles on the Honda Goldwing but I normally change mines about three times a year So generally, at this point, I generally like to let the bike run for about five minutes or so and verify that I don't have any leaks from the oil filter or the drain plug. Two. So in this portion of the video, now that we have the motor oil change, I'm gonna go ahead and change the rear end oil. It calls for the Honda brand gear oil. But in this video, I'm gonna be changing out the rear end oil with the Lucas. It's a SAE 80 weight 90 gear oil. It's formulated for hype oil gears and it exceeds the specifications for Honda. It gives you all of the specifications here on the rear. So I'm going to be going back with this Lucas oil and I'm going to be using my little oil can with this flexible hose. Some guys like to use syringes um, to put back the oil. I like to use my little oil pump can. So I have Lucas oil already in the can. So I just need to remove the drain plug so before we move the drain plug you want to take off the top cap first i'm going to be using a 17 millimeter because if you let the oil out first and you can't get the cap off now you're dead in the water so you want to take the top cap off first and then you want to take out the drain plug the thing i like about the three in one is that the same size wrench on the bottom that works on the oil drain plug will work on the rear end differential oil. Now the top cap I'm using a 17 millimeter because this is too small 
for the top cap. So I'm using a 17 millimeter for the top cap. And I'm just gonna use my three in one to take out the drain plug for the rear. So I'm gonna take off the top cap. Here we go. Take my, my drain bucket. That lets me know that the oil is full while that's draining. I'm gonna take my three in one. And now I can Actually, that oil looks pretty good. But since I have the bike on the lift, now would be a good time to just change out the fluid. That way I know it's done. And also now would be a good time to take some brake dust cleaner and clean a lot of this oil from the rear end area. I'm gonna just take some brake parts cleaner and just clean this area. Make sure you got on safety glasses. washer looks good and now I can tighten it back down with the three and one Just wipe up any excessive oil on the wheel Gonna just pump it up until oil run back over the field line. I will include a link in the description of this video where you can pick up a pump can, an oil pump can that I'm using.
Once it runs over, you know it's full. Just gonna take the cap. Screw it on by hand. Take my seventeen millimeter. Just use a little common sense. Wipe up any excessive oil.